Welcome to RCRB. So we've been fishing for two hours, three hours. You've been fishing or the chair's been fishing? Welcome to Problem, sir? <laughs> Just try to get to the goodness. You can. Welcome to RCRV. We are in Dames Ferry State Park here in Macon, Georgia, and I am on the roof of the RV to give you guys this amazing view that we have. We have been waiting one year to get this campsite that we're at, and I'm trying to find a way to just give you the beauty of this campsite in a video. So what better way than to shoot from the roof? We were here a year ago and our neighbors were catching these monster carp, like 20 something pound carp. And they gave us a secret recipe to be able to do this, how to make the little bait ball that they were doing. So the guys are getting the rods ready and making the mixture. And we're gonna test our luck and see if we can't catch a monster carp. If nothing else, we're gonna have fun. I don't know if they're professionals. They seem to know what they were doing. They had their rod holders set up and electronic beeping gadgets that ping their phone when something was, ah, we don't have any of that. I do have a bill. The secret was corn puffs as bait. I'm gonna explain it to you like they explained it to me. I don't know if it's right, wrong. This is just what I was told and this is what we're gonna try. You use cream corn and breadcrumbs. And you mix it together until it's kind of like a plaster. You want it shapeable, but you don't want it dripping because it needs to hold together. You put the piece of cereal on the hook. You take a whole bunch of this cream corn mixture and you get like a snowball around the weight and you pack it super tight and it's gonna stay around these weights as a big ball, a little bit smaller than a baseball size. And then you throw that out in the water. What this does is the weights will sink down and that ball of breadcrumbs and cream corn will stay there. The cereal pop will actually float up. So that big ball is actually chumming the water and that attracts all the carp. And then with this floating right above it, they come and they hit the hook. That's how it explains to me. Whether or not that's real, I don't know. I do know that I saw him take out two or three monster-sized carp. So I know it's possible and we're just gonna do exactly what they were doing, hopefully have the same luck they had. Are you blowing up? I don't know. A Am poop? It's a rainbow poop. You're blowing up rainbow poop. How long have you been going at this? Fire man? <laughs> I don't think he's working. I think he has a hole. Harley's like a service dog. He, yeah. he feels like you're about to pass out and he's got to be close to you. Almost. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> you're so determined. Most campgrounds will let you take dead wood that's in the woods or if a tree has fallen over or sometimes they cut down their own trees and they just leave them in the forest. Anything that's dead that's not growing, they'll typically let you use for firewood for your fire pits. The problem we found is that the only thing we typically carry in the RV is this. If you look at the dead stuff that's all in the forest, they're huge logs of trees that have fallen over or stuff that they've cut down to clear out and they just kind of leave there. It would take me hours to chop one piece of firewood small enough to carry back to the campsite for this. So we do like most people and we end up spending between five to 10 to $12 per bundle. One KOA was $12 per bundle. I know, it was yeah. expensive. So buying firewood is expensive. I found a solution. Super excited. battery powered chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Super tiny, <laughs> super light, takes a little DeWalt battery. So I'm gonna go put some bar chain oil in this and we're gonna try it out. I think this will enable us to be able to cut the big dead logs that are in the forest. I would highly advise 
check with your campground first. I would say from our experience, most of the campgrounds, you are allowed to take dead wood from the forest that's dead and not growing to burn in your fire pit, but check with your campground first. So we're gonna try this out and see if we can get some firewood. Nico's gonna use my fishing rod. He didn't bring his big one. So I'm gonna let him use my big one to try to catch fish. I just wanna catch one. I don't care who catches one. I just want somebody to catch one so we can get it on camera. <laughs> so he's gonna use mine. I'm gonna go put some bar chain oil in this and try it out. And then uh, we're gonna have some drinks, wait for some fish. Oh, <laughs> you know what? What? Emergency stop. There. Woo! I think after a year of camping, this will pay for itself. Like with the amount with all the of money amount, you spend yeah. on firewood. Yeah. I like it. Okay, the master fisherman <laughs> has his wife watching YouTube videos how to do the line. Am I, I just want to make sure I'm getting this situation correct. Am I reading this correctly? But it's because she's going to get paid for it. Yes, that's, like, that's what she's for. learning. She's, she's getting paid. Grace is going to pay her if she finds a way to learn this. So, and then she can teach him. <laughs> she, she thinks it's very easy to I tie say up. Uh, I ask her to, to learn how to do an FG knot. So she's watching videos. I did not say anything. That's what I like. Ali, if you get it, how much do you get? Apparently, I get 100 bucks. Oh, uh, give me the rod. Give me the, I, I want in on this. <laughs> All right. This week's Spanish word of the week, we're going to confuse the heck out of you. <laughs> We've got one word that means two different things. And it's spelled two different ways, but it's technically the same word because the pronunciation is exactly the same. The word of the week that, if you can speak like a Puerto Rican, is guagua. For us, guagua means a truck, a school bus, pretty much anything that is not a car. Yeah. So an SUV, a pickup truck, a school bus, we call it a guagua. Yeah. Or public transportation. Public, yes. Yeah. If you if you don't have a car and you need to take the bus to get to work, yes, take the guagua. Yes, we're gonna go take the guagua. Abuelos guagua. La guagua escolar, the school bus. It's totally different for us. Yep. So here's where we're gonna switch it up. <laughs> La guagua for us is a baby. We call any child la guagua. Yes. So pronunciation, it's the same. Say guagua, but depending on who you're talking to. It could mean a get on the bus, yeah. or look or at that baby. Go get the baby. <laughs> or if there's a wawa on the wawa, <laughs> baby go. on the bus. Baby in the bus. <laughs> Have fun. I just want to show <laughs> viewers who aren't fishing what it should be like. What we're waiting for is for the rod to look like this. And it's not like this, and like this. <laughs> and then we jump out of our chairs and we show you some great footage. After three hours, I'm starting to doubt that that shot is coming. <laughs> Where are the fish, babe? I don't know, they run away. It's a lot of seaweed though. Is look there good. seaweed in the lake? Right, so we got something. Finally, we got something. It's a monster. It looks like a monster. It looks like a monster. It looks like a monster. It's gotta be a monster. Oh my God. What a monster. Renzo, you're, are you so proud right now? Yes, I am. And I'm a little bit sad as well because I'm gonna use this as a bait. <laughs> two types of people in this world. People who say that the role has to end on the outside and those who are wrong. No, I like it the other way. 
<laughs> That's not the way it goes. No, it needs to go the other way. Otherwise, you will pull it and it goes. You, you take the whole roll. And knowing you, you will. That makes no sense. Turn it. So when you take a little piece. That doesn't even look right. It's okay. You, all you have to do You're is. You're still pulling it down. In. You just pull like this and you get one. Wow. <laughs> I like it the other way. What? Nothing. No comment. No. That's keep, right. Keep them to myself. That's right. Yeah, that is right. That's the right no, way. No, no. <laughs> so we didn't catch any fish, unless you count that little tiny minnow that Renzo caught. No big monster carp, no big monster anything. A little disappointing. I had high hopes. Anyways, I know they're out here. I've seen them come out of this lake. Apparently, I just don't have the magic. I guess this time, the carps outsmarted me. Anyways, thanks for following along with our adventure this weekend. We've got a lot of great and exciting stuff coming up on our channel. Don't forget, if you have a Spanish slang word you'd like to give a shout out on our video, leave it in the comments below. We've got our huge summer trip. We're about four weeks out, so we're getting excited finalizing the plans for that. So stick around, a lot of exciting stuff coming up on our channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we will see you out there.